Hi, I'm Aiden and I'm nine years old. I love playing Minecraft and basketball. I also love launching rockets and learning about space. When I grow up, one of the things I would love to be is an astronaut. Hi, I'm Ellen Ochoa and I was an astronaut on four space shuttle missions and also the director of NASA's Johnson Space Center, the home of human space flight. Hi, Dr. Ochoa. Hi, Aiden. Thanks for talking with me today. I have a few questions for you and some from other kids around the world. Well, great, I'm ready to get started. Cheyenne wants to know, what made you want to become an astronaut? Well, I just love the whole idea of human space exploration and getting to be part of a team that would get to do that. And uh, when I really decided to think about uh, applying to NASA, they had just started flying the space shuttle which was a, a new vehicle, much more capable than previous spacecraft. And they were gonna use it for science and engineering research. And I was at that time in school studying to be a research engineer. So it really fit in with what I was already planning to do. How many times have you been to space and what was it like? So I got to go on four space shuttle missions and um, they were all fantastic. Um, the first two, we were studying the Earth's atmosphere and particularly the problem of the ozone hole and ozone depletion, which was caused by chemicals that humans were putting into the atmosphere. And then my third and fourth flights were part of building the International Space Station. So this was pretty much at the beginning of that. And uh, of course, now we've had people living on board continuously for more than 20 years. Um, but I got to be uh, in on it right from the very beginning. Were you scared when you went to space for the first time? So I wouldn't say I was scared. Um, I was probably a little bit apprehensive, but it was mainly about wanting to do a good job. There was a lot to remember. And I wanted just to make sure that I could be the best crew member that I could be. So I, that's really what I was focused on, as, uh, particularly as I was on the ground and we were waiting for, um, for the launch to happen. I would definitely be scared if I went to space for the first time. Well, it's definitely an exciting ride, that's for sure. What did Earth look like from space? Well, I think it's something that astronauts never get tired of looking at. I must say it's a little bit hard to keep my concentration because I'm looking out the aft windows at some great views of South America right now. The colors are really vivid, um, particularly over some parts of the ocean uh, where it's shallow, especially fun to fly over places um, that I knew well, like where I was born and grew up in Southern California or places that I lived before. But you see so many different kinds of landforms and you know, rivers and mountain ranges. Um, it's just always changing and it's, it's a really unique perspective to be able to see it from space. That must have been very cool. I've always wanted to go to space. What was the coolest thing you did on the space station? Well, gosh, um, that, uh, I guess uh, one thing that I would mention is that on all four of my flights, I got to operate the robot arm. So um, I was one of the early ones to fly it and actually the first one to use that robot arm to move astronauts around when they're outside spacewalking. They attach themselves to their arm. So that was probably one of the coolest things that I got to do. I think that robots are fascinating. <laughs> Kim wants to know, what was your favorite food to eat in space? Oh gosh, I liked uh, I liked the space food. Not all not all astronauts do, but I found it pretty tasty. You know, one of the things that we would do is we didn't want to take up any kind of bread, because if you think about your plate on Earth when you finish eating a sandwich, that you see all these breadcrumbs, right? Um, and in space, uh, those crumbs would just float around in the cabin. Um, so we don't take up bread, but we do take up tortillas and we use them for a lot of different things. We'll bring a chicken salad or peanut butter or sometimes even scrambled eggs and make a bre breakfast burrito. So um, tortillas are kind of a, a, a very useful uh, food to have up there. So that was definitely one of the things that I ate a lot. Must have been really hard to eat with the food floating everywhere. Fun, actually. <laughs> you do have to be careful 
So it doesn't go floating off into the cabin, um, but it, it also uh, sort of turned us all into people who enjoyed playing with our food. <laughs> it's cool. Do you think humans will ever go to Mars? Oh, absolutely. Um, you might even be able to be one of them. Uh, you know, right now, NASA is working on a pro program to send astronauts back to the moon. Hopefully that will happen in the next few years. Um, and so there's a lot to learn scientifically on the moon, but a big part of going to the moon is also to prepare to go much, much further away, including to Mars. So if you kind of follow along from NASA um, in the next few years um, and think about what they're doing and how it might prepare them for Mars, uh, um, you'll probably learn a lot about what it's actually going to take to send people to Mars, you know, I don't know, 20, somewhere between 20 and 30 years from now, maybe. I would love to go to Mars one day. <laughs> I better start saving up some money for that. <laughs> well, if you get selected as an astronaut, NASA will actually send you and you won't have to pay for it. In fact, they'll even pay you a salary because it's your job. <laughs> oh, wow. It's very cool. What should I do if I want to become an astronaut? Well, uh, a lot of it is about your education. And so all astronauts need to have studied and gotten a couple of college degrees in some field of, of science or engineering or, or even medicine, because we certainly do have medical doctors who become astronauts. And then um, whatever job you get after school, what NASA looks for is um, kind of how you progress in your job. You know, do, um, do the people you work for give you more responsibility? Um, can you show that you're both a good team member and a team leader? Because a member of a crew kind of really has to do both of those things while they're up there. And for the teamwork part, I often tell people that they can learn that in a lot of different ways. Um, some people get it from sports teams. I kind of got it from musical groups because I played in concert bands and marching bands and orchestra, and you really have to learn about teamwork, I think, to do a good job at that as well. I love math and science, so hopefully I'll make a good astronaut one day. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much for teaching me all about space today. Oh, it was great talking with you today, Aiden. Bye. Goodbye.